Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be talking about some running gear. So if you're just interested in my photo and video production videos, then you can feel free to skip this one. Recently, my mom got the flip belt zipper in the black, and this is a medium. So I wanted to compare it with my original flip belt that I got six years ago. For a quick overview of the original flip belt, you can feel free to check out my review video of it here. If you're watching this video, you've probably decided between the two different models of the flip belt, namely being the flip belt zipper and the original flip belt. So firstly, I'm gonna be talking about the main differences. The flip belt zipper is partitioned into the front and rear compartments where the rear compartment has three openings for you to access whatever you need. Where the original flip belt isn't partitioned off and it has four openings, totaling two in the front and two in the rear. The keychain holder is on the left side of the belt on both models, except the keychain holder is only accessible from the rear partition in the zipper version, and it's accessible from both sides on the original. The flip belt zipper also features a YYK zipper, so you know it's made to last. Next, I'm gonna be talking about the similarities of these two models. Both use the same micro poly lycra elastic material, and they share a similar double stitched seam throughout the entire belt. Both have four layers of material where two make up the outer shell of the belt and two make up the inner shell of the belt, which easily dries when you leave it to hang. In terms of water bottle storage, the flip belt zipper front partition can only store a small bottle, whereas the rear can store a large and a small. The flip belt original, having two openings in the front and two openings in the rear, can actually store two small bottles in the front or one large bottle in the front, as well as the same on the back side. In total, the original can hold up to four small water bottles or two large water bottles, or they can do a mix of both where you have two small and one large, which is a small bottle more than the flip belt zipper can hold. In terms of sizing, she got the medium size because she wanted to wear it mostly over clothing and use it more as a out and about wallet. And I have the small size because I mostly use it when I go out for runs and I don't want to feel no airflow throughout my shirt. So when picking the sizing, it's definitely a good question to ask whether or not you're going to be wearing with extra clothing underneath or just against your skin. Here's how the small and medium sizes compare. Both of them are also a little bit elastic in the material. So keep in mind that they stretch in use, but over the past six years or so that I've had the flip belt original, I haven't noticed any or much permanent stretching in the belt. Here are some final thoughts. The flip belt zipper is much easier to put larger phones in the front portion because the actual width of the newer version is about four inches versus three inches on my so that it can accommodate larger phones. But sometimes I don't exactly love the partition of the flip belt zipper because it's an extra step to access things in your pocket. I can see the zipper as being more secure in the long run if you're gonna be going out for longer, especially if you throw in smaller pieces like wireless earbuds, change or extra cash. I recently also got a new pair of running shorts, the Nike Running Division shorts, which does have a large enough pocket for my phone in the back. So if you wanted to see a video about that or even a comparison with these two flip belts, please leave a comment down below and I'll look into that. I also noticed that flip belt has a new model on their website called the Flip Belt Elite. It's something I've also been eyeing, so if you guys are interested in a video of that, be sure to let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up down below. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.